all set up. How are you guys doing today? And it's another lesson, of course, but today we're going to be doing electric guitar. Because even though there's not a giant difference between acoustic and electric, there are some things I like to teach differently whenever you're playing an electric. That's fine. We'll just stick with that. Okay. So, let's fix this first. There we go. Get ourselves a handy pick because I just feel like it right now. Okay, cool. So, same tuning as an acoustic that I showed you. E for your top one right here, your biggest one. A, D, G, B, and E. And that's for your sixth string. Of course, you have seven, eight strings, even higher than that. We'll get into that another day. Same with the bass guitar as well. Any bassists watching this. There was something I particularly wanted to say first. So the difference between an acoustic and an electric is that the electric actually picks up the sound while an acoustic amplifies it. So the acoustic acoustic the sound holes are designed to amplify the sound so that it doesn't need an amp or any you know exterior thing to push the sound out pickups are used on an electric guitar to pick up the vibrations and then run it through the jack and then through the cord into your amp of course and honestly i i really love electric a lot more than acoustic though i still you know, have a love for an acoustic. Electric is my heart. So when you do chords on an electric, I mean, you can strum all the strings that you're supposed to, but usually I just try to do the majority of the strings that I strum are like the root of the chord. So I don't have to hit any extra strings causing like more sound sounds to clash together, you know, you don't want your extra strings ringing out and sounding kind of muddy. So I strummed all the strings right there. You'll notice that it kind of made the main chord that you wanted to hear a little bit indistinguishable or not as clean as it should have been. So I just hit those top three for my E minor. Same with my power chords. I have no idea what tuning this is in. I think I was teaching someone a Paramore song on this, so it's probably in C standard, but same thing. A lot of muting with your palm when it comes to electric, you want to kind of mute what you're doing right here, even if it's just a little bit. It's good to mute. I wouldn't say do it on everything though. I don't want you to kind of like overuse this. This is more like a, if you're playing solos or like single notes, it's good to just barely mute with your palms. And you don't want to do it too much because you'll kind of hear a, you have to like back off of it, which means just kind of come down closer towards the bridge. And you can also mute with your fingers too, just how smooth you play. You can also rest other fingers on strings to mute them. Cool little effects like pig scraping. or natural harmonic sound kind of crazier on an electric too. Chugs sound nasty. And that's just palm muting right there. 
pinch your top two or three strings. It's really up to you. And don't call with your friends. But I think that's pretty easy for the first video. I think I'm going to... I'll teach you one more thing before I head off. So everything's the same as an acoustic, but the pickups, like I mentioned, and these little knobs right here. So this is your tone knob. You have a third one, like an overdrive knob, if you have three knobs. And this top one right here is your volume knob. Then you have your switch. It pretty much controls your pickups. Bottom one is your bridge one. In the middle is both of them. And then up is your neck pickup. And sometimes you'll see three of them, three pickups. Usually it has five switches, five settings. So just wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up of all that stuff. Uh, that's pretty good for the first video of Electric Guitar. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.